Welcome to my country. I'm the first female NFT artist from Colombia, so... <laughs> I'm super happy seeing you here, drinking guaro, you know, dancing a lot. I know there are like a few girls, but if you want, I can introduce you to my friends. <laughs> and today is Friday. I know many people like, are hungover like me, but <laughs> let's get it started. <laughs> So since I was a little child, I have been like super, super curious about life, about everything. Um, and uh, like my manifesto talks about that when you are connected to your soul, you can shine brighter. And we are all, we are all connected by one single trace. So that's my art, that's my manifesto, and that's me. And when you paint in one single trace, it's because life is ephemeral. And you don't know like how much time you will be here uh, on Earth. And when I paint in one line single trace, you just like start drawing, and then you just finish, and you are like, uh, "This is horrible. This is amazing. I like it or I love it." So for me, that's life. You know, you need to be passionate about what you do and just express all yourself. You know. Of course, I'm a bit terrible with guys because I express all my feelings at the first time and they feel afraid, but it's okay, it's shit, man. If they will like me, they will like how I am, you know? <laughs> so I started painting in my, in my, in, on paper. Uh, I studied civil engineering because my dad has a company, but guess what happened? <laughs> I didn't continue with the company, and I started just like, yeah, with my dream. So at that time, I didn't have uh, money for buying an iPad, so I just started painting on a paper, I scan it, I use an app that is called, in my phone, that is called Peak Collage, and then I just send them in a JPG. And guess what, like, when I, uh, I started selling for $15, when I arrived, like, $100, people were asking me, like, hey, give me a certificate of authenticity, like, this is really expensive, just you send me a JPG. I was like, we're in pandemic, like, it's more expensive, like, sending you my, uh, yeah, like, the artwork, than, like, the shipping was more expensive than the, than the artwork, than the paper. The 15th of March, my life changed forever when I became the first female NFT artist from Colombia. People um, uh, sold this NFT the 11th of March of 2021. So I'm like in the, in the, wa in the wave of people, you know. <laughs> but the, the funny thing at that time, like, you know, I'm Colombian, like I speak Spanish, I love salsa. <laughs> and there were not like, th th there was not information in Spanish, like, like nothing, and like few information in English. So. My, when I speak and I give this conference to people, like, fuck, be curious, you know? Like, <laughs> life is that. <laughs> so this is me, like, w one week ago, Bloomberg, uh, I appear on the Bloomberg list of the 500 more influential people in Latin America. And I love that, not because, oh, I'm in Bloomberg list. No, because I say people, hi, look at me. I'm an artist. I don't, I, I don't use, like, you know, like, formal clothes to be here. I'm just, like, connected to yourself. I inspire people, and that's why I'm the, in that list. <laughs> also, one of my NFTs went uh, with Jeff Bezos to the space. I make the NFT of the uh, Women uh, Football Championship. I'm a global ambassador. I was in Times Square, and I'm going to be in NFT London speaking. If you are going there, I will be there. <laughs> I've been in 40 countries. Uh, thanks for blockchain technology. Like. I love you, know Vitalik. <laughs> he changed my life. <laughs> so, like, even he dressed like not fashion. I don't care. Like, I, like I love you. <laughs> Thanks for changing my life and changing the life of many digital artists. So, again, my manifesto: if you are connected to your soul, uh, you can shine brighter. And my uh, invitation to you is: just be you. Just shine with your soul. Just uh, know who you are, and that's the path. That's the way. Again, my phrase. To please again take a picture. <laughs> That's the, the message I want to spread um, in the world. And also, I also loved uh, blockchain technology, you know? <laughs> so, how it is, like, what is the difference between this and this? 
It's art. It's just a medium. So when I give the conference of, to not, not, not crypto people, I'm like, this is art. What is happening right now? Art reflects what happened in society. I enter into this world because I realize that art reflects what happened in society. That's the phrase you need to say to the people when they ask you, why the fuck is an NFT? I don't understand that shit. And you say, I reflect what happened in society, babies. So then I start telling about the, like the, the history of art. And in this period of time, in the Middle Ages, uh, they, like if you see, they, there's like a lot of religi like religious, religious, yeah, religious art. And it's because at that time, the church want money. And you know how they ask people to get them money? Uh, with paint, it's if you don't do this, you you will go to um, you you won't go to heaven. So give me money, give me money, and voila, they use art <laughs> to teach people. Then um, in the Renaissance, you know why the Mona Lisa is so amazing because uh, Leonardo da Vinci was wow well, super intelligent. No, because at that time studying anatomy was like it was was a must at that time. Why? Because in the, my phrase again, I reflect what happened in society. Um, I'm inspired, sorry. <laughs> uh, like now the center of the universe wasn't God, was a human being. So they start studying anatomy, you know. Then at this period of time, Impressionism, they created a tube of oil. So now the artists have their tube of oils. They can go like... Uh, like out of their like houses, and they can paint. So if you go to uh, uh, Orsay Museum in Paris, what you will see a lot of landscapes. Again, my phrase, oh, it reflects what happened in society. And then Andrew Warhol, consumism, and in the 50s, USA, you know. So he he was like, okay, I want to be a billionaire. You know how it was Andrew Warhol, and. Uh, he have two options to sell one art piece for like millions of dollars or sell this the like copies of the same like like super cheap so he did that like consumism art reflects what happened in society and then voila an nft <laughs> what is happening now technology and you know that you're a crypto people like most of you <laughs> so when you mix art and technology what do you have digital art you know but when you mix digital art and uh, Blockchain technology, what you have? NFTs, voila, that's what's happening right now. So that you, my, like my invite for you, the crypto people is, please teach NFTs in, <laughs> like in the history of art. And people will be like, oh my gosh, yeah, like now I understand this. <laughs> because many crypto people explain like, hey, it's a non-fungible token. It's like, what is that shit? Like even I don't understand that, you know? <laughs> So it's just, you know, like color kinds and then what happened, like pandemic started, everyone left pandemic. So, so what happened, everyone uh, made like Zoom parties. So everyone lived like, like the necessity of technology before technology was only like a tool. So what's the difference between this and this? This was in crisis in Dubai. Nothing, just a way to show the art. And what is happening again? Art reflects what happened in society. Technology, you, we're using TVs. Voila. <laughs> and Hockney. Hockney is a really famous digital artist. He needs to print the, like his digital artwork in order to, uh, his artwork have a value. Now, look at me. I have a screen. I don't print anything. Like my certificate of authenticity is, is on the blockchain. And that's amazing. That's like, you know, <laughs> people tell me, hey, Vida, give me physical uh, things. Like, no, baby, art reflects what happened in society. I won't print you anything, really. <laughs> like, I don't like it to do it. And uh, like, social networks are anything but social. NFTs allow us to unite and bring a community closer together through everything. So it's like, you never think that you will like be friends of this kind of people, you know, but you have a bored ape, these monkeys, and now you're like, I have a bored ape, I have a bored ape. So that happened. <laughs> so an NFT is not a JPG, it's not even a work of art, it's a key that opens a door, it's a key that opens like anything you want. And like really like uh, social media is not, so, like, is not social, you know, but NFTs give you that, you can like communicate, you can connect with anyone. Uh, if you write to, I don't know, your, I don't know, Richard Branson and Richard Branson would like will never answer to you. But you have an NFT that Richard like the same community, you have more like possibilities he will answer you. 
So this is an example. This is one of my art collectors. He was like super happy with the Steve Aoki. <laughs> oh my gosh, my time is over. I, I need to finish. <laughs> okay, so my, my friends and I met a, a friend because I have an NFT. And what you're waiting for to teach in a really like funny and good way, because we need to teach babies. And <laughs> again, we're all connected by one single trait. And thank you, I think. Yeah, thank you.